Hello, good morning, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us for Studio 512. I'm Rosie. I'm Basavi. Thank you for starting your Monday morning with us. Yes, and it might have been a very long weekend depending on how Same. social you got yes. with South By or how hard you were trying to avoid it. <laughs> I am so tired, but I am so energized from all the people that I yeah. met, right? Like, isn't that just so infectious when you're meeting people, just like uh, communicating with people, having great conversations. You just feel so uh, uplifted from it, but it's also exhausting. At the yeah, same time. right, yeah. right. You, you have certainly expent some, expended so, some energy. Yeah. yeah. And for parents waking up this morning, kind of getting the day started, especially if you've got a child that goes to AISD, this is it. This is the last week before we hit spring break. Yes. So crossing our fingers for you, you can make it through. Hopefully, you've got something fun <laughs> planned we're for next week. Through. Yeah, so we're so glad that you're getting your day kicked off with us. We did want to do kind of a little weekend yep. recap. Uh, first of all, uh, see if you recognize one of the other people in this photo here. Hey, Erica. it's Erica Brennis. <laughs> yeah, so this was an event that Vasavi happened to be at as well. This was what I have now been calling the Great Gatsby Party because yes. we were at, <laughs> on such nice grounds. I was shocked. Like, we couldn't even tell which one the house was because there were such big, there two houses. beautiful yes. buildings. Uh, yeah, behind, behind the, uh, behind the like, gate. It was incredible. Um, so we went there because it was the Misses mm -hmm. here in town. Great band. Uh, they were launching a new music video, and we also listened to a local DJ and had, like, some cool bites from Pool Burger, mm -hmm. which I was just talking about before the yeah. weekend hit. Uh, so that was, like, a really, really good time. Uh, and then also I got the chance to catch up with Brooklyn Decker, and she is so, so sweet. So I was talking to her yesterday. Yeah, how was that? It was awesome. She was uh, at the Jane Club event, mm -hmm. which is a networking space, and it provides free child care for women. Mm -hmm. So they were thinking about mm. coming to Austin, which is really awesome. Uh, and uh, so that was a really nice time, and I got the chance to ask her a couple of questions, you know, about how, how her priorities have changed, because her little ones are little. Oh. We're talking like three and one. Okay. Um, and they're so precious, by the way. So you guys got to talk about balancing all of yeah, that? Yeah, and like what, what her advice was would be to mm -hmm. people who want to be the best rock star mom you could possibly be, but also be kicking butt in the business yes, world. Because you, know you can I mean? have both. You, you don't can. have to choose. You yeah. Don't have to. So she uh, has a couple pieces of advice, and we're going to put that on studio512tv.com just coming up in the next couple of hours. So check that out this afternoon. That sounds awesome, Rosie. Um, I got a chance to go to the new Kendra Scott store. I know you've been Ooh, the there. the flagship? Yeah, the flagship. They had that so many cool balloons out front. Oh I, my wanted, God. I wanted to go. Yes, it was great. There were so many cool balloons, so many cute little appetizers. I might have bought myself a little necklace there just to treat myself. Cause treat it was, yourself. Cause it was Check Friday, and here we have um, just a bunch of the girls over there. If you can see, we have our own Stephanie Gary, mm -hmm. and also Brittany, our producer, who is, you know, beautifully speaking to us in our ear mm -hmm. all the time. We and love Jamie you. Anand, ja from, Jamie yeah. Anand, who is a regular guest on the show. So yeah. that was a lot of fun, just to connect and mingle and just talk to so many fabulous women that were there. That is super cool. Yeah, I love that flagship. So I know a ton of things are going to keep going on. Uh, and speaking of uh, music. Yes. Starts to get kicked off. This is it. This is Here the day. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, yeah. so we wanted to share a few South by Southwest events. The first one, I have not been myself, but I've seen a lot of photos floating around. Taco Topia, which is an Instagramable oh, yeah. wonderland. So oh, yeah. So if you love taking selfies, if you love Instagram, and if you love tacos, this is one event that you're going to want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, visit. And they're going to be here in Austin until March 30th, so you can still buy tickets. That's awesome. And so even if you don't get to that this week, you've still got a little yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, a, a couple of my friends have gone to that really? now. Really? How was like, that? The walls are so colorful. It looks super, super cool. I mean, you're right. It's it's an Instagrammer's dream, yes. which is really crazy. By the way, I was talking to a couple of like Insta-famous people this weekend. Like Influencers. What, what a bizarre thing, <laughs> yeah. right? And they were trying to go to seven events in one day. No. I did <laughs> two. I was dying. I was so gone. Seven so, gives me like heart palpitations. It was I was like, incredible. I Absolutely but, incredible. But yeah, so I wanted to make a mention of this as well. Since the music's getting kicked off, we really want to take care of you as far as like, you don't have to buy a badge yep. in order to see some cool stuff. So Ramen Satsuya here in town, they're going to have at their new kind of like Domo Aligato space, which has a ton of like Japanese curry Ooh. and highball drinks, super cool stuff. Uh, they're going to have Holy Wave, High Wasted, which is a great band name, Poly Action, and the Stacks 
performing at six o'clock this evening. That's a lot of so, fun. Yeah, so if you don't have dinner plans already, get out there and get you some live music. Yeah, I love that there's something to do for everyone and uh, you don't have to break the bank doing it. Yeah. Right, you don't need the badge, you don't need to spend a ton of money. So You yeah, are spending your money yeah. on Ubers and Lyfts though, let me tell you what. I know, but you know what, <laughs> I would say that that's okay. You know, that's Right, okay. well it's that's the right thing you, to yeah. do, definitely. I agree with you there. Okay, we wanted to give a shout out as well because uh, a, a friend of ours Barbie. is turning Bar 60. You might know her, her name is Barbie. You might know her by first name. What's her full name? It's Barbara something. Barbie or Doll. Doll is her last name, isn't it? Isn't a Barbie Doll? Like that's, that's her first name. We'll look this up for you. Don't worry. We'll bring you the news you need to know. But um, I just thought it was super cool because uh, so she's been around for six years, which is crazy when yeah. you think about it. She's been around for so long. Yeah. Uh, and so this over 50s dating app named Lumen, which I hadn't heard of, but yay app. for you yeah. if you're on this app, uh, getting out there and finding some friends. Uh, they did a photo shoot with her at her appropriate age, at 60 years I old. I love that. No airbrushing, by no the way. No airbrushing, All yes. natural light. And you know what? Um, studies have actually shown that women feel more empowered in their own skin in their 50s and 60s awesome. versus their 20s. So I think that's that's great. There's yeah. hope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that that's really awesome. Did you play with Barbies, by the way, when you were little? I did not. You didn't? I did not. I played with uh, Play-Doh. I loved Play-Doh. Oh, yeah. I might have even eaten some Play-Doh back in the day when I was a <laughs> you kid. You have to I taste was, it. You, you know, taste test it. it out. <laughs> but did you? <laughs> speaking of, speaking of things we'll taste, uh, Bosby is going to be doing a Meatless Monday segment coming up in about the yes. next half hour, which is exciting. Yeah, I did play with Barbies. I will not be eating Play-Doh, though. Okay, all right. That's, that's not Monday. what we're going to serve you today. Um, but uh, I'm just glad to see her kind of aged up yes. because she's kind of frozen forever in time at, what, about 18, 21? So. Uh, yes. So um, it is Motivation Monday. We are going to start taking ourselves a little less seriously. Um, and before we delve a little deeper into it, you know, I just wanted to kind of share the inspiration of this. I was actually going through old photos at home and I found this photo here. That's me dancing in my mom's bra. Yes. Right there on the left. And, and honestly, I was staring at that photo and I'm like, <laughs> why? How come I don't dance around like that anymore? Yeah, you know, like not like you know, nobody's necessarily, watching, but literally. you know, just you know. So this was just inspiration for you know. Why don't we start this week by just kind of loosening up a little bit? How about you? Mm -hmm. How do you well, feel about it's a that? festival week, and, and we're not too far from St. Patrick's Day, so I feel like it's the time to don silly hats yes. and and just laugh at yourself. So uh, I've just, I I. <laughs> shared this picture with Vasavi. I went to Luby's for the first time, I guess it was last week, and look at me living my life. Well, uh, you saw it for just a hot second there. There you go, are, yes! There she goes. Because uh, I was enjoying uh, meatloaf, and <laughs> I mean, I got pie. When when in Rome, you know what you I mean? You gotta dance when you're eating pie. And someone did say to me on Instagram, like, I thought Luby's was for old folks, and I was like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Luby's can be wrong. delicious, yes. no matter who you are. So that's that's me just like having a ball at Luby's last week. All right, <laughs> let's check in with Rich. Rich, do you take yourself seriously, or are you going to start taking Too yourself seriously? less seriously? I don't take myself seriously at all, <laughs> except except when I'm standing here to tell you about the weather. That's otherwise, okay. Good. That's what otherwise, we need. self-deprecation is always is always Absolutely. acceptable. All right, uh, light rain.